Well, we're get, get ready. This is a bumper edition. This is uh, late on Thursday the 22nd. I didn't publish a video yesterday, so we've got 48 hours worth of things to talk about. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, is he slipping up? He didn't do his video yesterday. What's up, Ross? Everything okay? Everything's absolutely fine. Uh, I was wrecked yesterday. Uh, absolutely shattered after, uh, I say shattered, I was mentally tired after a day with two clients back to back more or less and a day of travel. So there's not much else to it. be really honest. I could have done a video last night. I just didn't think it was going to be in any way of interest or valuable for myself and people listening or watching, sorry. So I didn't do it. Uh, first time that's happened in that way, I think Especially if I'm doing these in one take, I definitely think it's the way to do it for me personally, but equally, you kind of have to have a topic or two in mind. I can't, I'm not just going to sit here and waffle for 10 or 12 minutes. So anyway, I decided to park it to today. And again, being completely honest and transparent with you, I'll get into it. But uh, today was, yeah, there's a lot going on and in a good way. And I just didn't have the time during the day. It's also a shorter day uh, for me. I had to basically had to do a, a crash run um, both ways. So yeah, real life comes in. Your family's your priority, so it just means you you have less hours to focus on work, and that's that's fine. That's all good. But uh, I've been doing a bit of work tonight, or I will be, and this is part of that. So as far as I'm concerned, been a great two days. But if I have to summarize it, it's been, I think the last two days are an indicator of the progress I've made business-wise. And it's also an indicator of what tends to happen to me or where I will suffer or dr get drained as a consequence of the increase in work. So there's quite a bit to unpack here. And I think there's no better place to start than on a similar theme, but for clients. So what I mean by that is, in two out of the three sessions I had, it was interesting to me that it was there was a little bit of seeing what was coming up. And what I mean by that is, it's, it's a phrase that a coach I used to work with would, would apply a lot of the time to our sessions. He was never a tremendous fan of coming to the session with like a scheduled agenda. In fact, it never really happened. And, I've certainly taken a piece of that and applied it to what I do because I think it's important to give these founders, and I've said this before, give these founders time and space to just see what comes up for them. And it was so interesting to see that play out over the last couple of days in a couple of different ways. The power of doing that is that a founder, from my perspective, will typically say something like, oh, everything's fine. Or, yeah, most things are fine, here's one thing. If they say the former, it might be true, it usually isn't. If they say the latter, they've actually put some time into thinking about it. And even then, they might just have picked one thing that's pretty recent. So they'll have a recency bias. So for example, if there's a problem with a client, that'll be the thing that's come up. And that problem might have happened this morning. I spend a good bit of time trying to extract just dig a bit further, dig, go down an extra layer to see what comes up for people. And it was really fascinating in a couple of cases. Uh, again, this the same thing happened with a sales, well, I say sales, I don't know why I say sales, with an intro call I had, because it wasn't a sales call, it was an intro call with someone. Uh, same thing happened there. You, you just dig a little bit more and you see what comes up and it can be really, really fascinating sometimes. So it's a really powerful thing. And I'm not saying I'm an expert at it, I'm, I'm not, but I, I feel I'm quite good at it at the moment now, going into things a little bit further with people to just help them get that, aha, you can see the light bulb moment or the, hmm, wait a minute, why did I just say that out loud? That's interesting. What prompted me to share that with him? So, the client might feel like there's nothing in their mind. The client might not feel like there's anything pressing in the business. And almost always I'll say that that is not the case. 
And if it's, I'm not always saying there's problems, I'm saying there will always be things that are like interesting or opportunities or worth just fleshing it out with someone, again, who's outside the business like me. So yeah, across all the, the, the sessions over the last two days, certainly there's a bit of that coming through, which is great. And yeah, I mean, what happened? So yesterday, yeah, I mean, yesterday was literally, I was, I was, you know, there's a lot of communicating, there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of thinking. To some people, they come away from that and they don't even feel anything, as in they don't feel in any way drained. I, I remember I went away on a, I suppose like a day and a half kind of retreat or getaway thing with other leaders a few years ago. And we we had a day of, we had, we had a day basically in a room with each other talking through things and doing various exercises with the facilitators and then we got out and about and walked around a bit and did some exercise and stuff like that and you know had a few breaks here and there but ultimately it was pretty intense it was like maybe say half nine or nine till I'm gonna say it was like four or five six something like that and then we all went away and we're like have a quick break shower get ready for for dinner and I <laughs> I will never forget sitting on the edge of my bed in the hotel we were staying in and I was sitting upright. I was about to ring uh, my wife and I just kind of fell sideways on the bed. I was absolutely like, again, it's not physical tiredness. It's just complete. It was, it's the type of thing that drains my energy in the short term, but in the long term, I take a lot from it. So I gain momentum from these types of things. Um, whereas 30 minutes later I, I went down to dinner and the, the, it was as if these guys, there were a lot of people there that were absolutely buzzing. They couldn't wait to have another two or three hours of, of I suppose, communication and talking and discussing and, and, and honestly I just really wanted to eat my food and go for a, a, a sleep but um, that's just an example I suppose what I'm getting at is we're all different. It's just having the awareness like that. that was fine. I had a good evening. The next day was 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 a bit tougher in that in that scenario. But with these sessions, I find myself feeling a similar way. So what does that mean to me today, for example? So I came home yesterday evening, and you know I couldn't do this video. I just could. I just did not have the the mental load or energy to sit down and even do a one take kind of video like this, which frankly it's more just to me kind of sharing my thoughts about things I just couldn't do it and I tried to do it this morning and I just had to prioritize things which brings me to today then which <laughs> this is the longest my to-do list has been since I started this business and <laughs> it was kind of shocking truthfully I, I think I've been on the been away from home for a couple of days I'd had a couple of quite a few intro calls couple of one-off events or maybe things that were happening and I just looked at my list of things to do and, and there's a backlog and this has not happened yet and I'm not bragging about it I'm definitely not freaking out about it but it was just to me an indicator that yeah things are picking up the, the, there's not a ton of junk on that to-do list a lot of it is very good client work impactful tasks progressing conversations working on some of the stuff I've, I've mapped out on the, the whiteboard for this year. So there's things are picking up pace, which is great. Really happy about that. And I'm not using a list of tasks as an indicator of how well things are going. Yet at the same time, I think it would be a mistake not to just take a second and respect that, you know, frankly, four or five months ago, I, I, some mornings I didn't have a to-do list because, you know, there, there weren't things sitting there. I had to go out and find things to do, so to speak. And usually it was about getting new clients. So an interesting thing today then with that in mind was it felt like one of the first proper times where I was using an exercise that I think is really powerful. And it's something I encourage anyone in running a business or anyone in a job to really do is if you're struggling to focus in on something, ask yourself simply, what must I do, what should I do, and what could I do? So for example, I had a list of, I think it was 16 things. 16 things is a lot. 10 of them are could do's. 
10 of them are not like today. They are some point in the future, they could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be next month. They could become more urgent. They could, could become less urgent, but they're not a need to be done today type thing. I would say a fair statement would be that in the past, I have fallen guilty of doing the could do's ahead of the shoulds or the must do's. And that's a problem because you end up prioritizing the wrong thing, right? So the, the should do's then, yeah, there were about four or five of them. And frankly, out of that list of 16, there were, yeah, there, there, there were two must do things today. Like there were two things I needed to do today. Uh, I've done both of them. The should do's are, they're still important. Like, but if they're sent tonight, which is gonna be scheduled for tomorrow morning because of how late it is, it's not a problem. And should do today generally means, in my mind anyhow, I'd be surprised if at least a couple of them were must do's tomorrow. So that's an exercise. Yeah, you can take it and apply it to your own your own world if you want to. I find it pretty helpful. I've seen plenty of how not claiming originality in this one. Uh, I don't even remember where I got it from originally. It was many moons ago. Uh, very recently, I've seen it floating around LinkedIn. People putting their own spin on it. And uh, yeah, I could probably Google it. I'm being lazy to be honest. <clears throat> That's the, one of the key things we don't want to be. We don't want to be lazy, we don't want to be impatient. Um, but uh, I'm sure you can find out where that came from. So yeah, where are we at then? Where does that bring us up to? So, <coughs> pardon me, today was, uh, today was fine. Got the key things done. It was a bit slow, to be honest. Exactly for the reason I just mentioned. I was a little bit off pace today. I don't often say that. I think I've said that a few times though, since we started these videos. I just try to be very honest with myself. You know, what? what is on pace for me? There's a good question. On pace for me is, on pace for me is, is getting through the things I expected to be done. I'm pretty good at plotting my time. I'm not one of these people that, I think I see a lot of owners sometimes overfill their day it doesn't tend to be something i suffer from or i struggle to do as i alluded to i'm more likely to fill my day with the wrong things and they'll be done but they'll be not the priorities whereas some other people i think put too much in their day so if i'm just getting through the day as i have planned that's me operating on pace and if i'm off pace yeah i don't get the stuff done which kind of sounds obvious but i know myself pretty well in relation to my ability to get work done and but um that's what I interpreted it as. So today I was a bit off pace. I, I didn't get through stuff as quickly or efficiently as I expected. I haven't done this video. And uh, there were a couple of other things that frankly should have been done that haven't been, that are more administrative. <coughs> but aside from that, um, yeah, overall, I'm excited for, I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a relatively quiet day. It's one of those days we've had in the past, well, quite a lot of, in the first week or two of February where it's a great chance to just get the head down and do some work. Something I need to do some prep for that I'm really excited about that I'll share more of next week is uh, got a, I think it's a lunch and learn. So it's like an online session uh, with, a, with a, a company that specializes in outsourced account management for agencies. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, excited to, to kind of jot down some more points for that. I already have, I suppose, the bones of it done. And um, yeah, that'll be great. I'll probably be able to share quite a bit about that after I do it. And then on Tuesday, we're in Glasgow for the last, yeah, last client session, <coughs> last client session of the month. So it's going to be a busy start to next week. Tomorrow's a good day to make sure that we can start the week at a good pace. And uh, yeah, I definitely will be using the must could or must should could structure to help me figure out what I need to do tomorrow. So anyway, that is a, I don't even know if this is a bumper edition. I don't know how long this is. It's very hard to keep, keep track of these things when you're doing them. Overall, overall thoughts from, from the last couple of days. Feeling good about my self-awareness in the sense of, I know what drains my energy and I know how the things like the last couple of days affect me. 
I can afford to be more, I can afford to be fair on myself off the back of those sessions. I think I feel to appreciate in the past that if you sit down with someone for three or four hours and really get into the, the thick of it with them about their business, that's an intensive session. To do it three times in two days and particularly in one day back to back, that's going to be quite draining for me. So it's just being conscious of that and making sure I'm aware of how that impacts the, the day after. Really happy with the amount of work on. I think it's 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 good. It, I have plenty of capacity in terms of clients. I've talked about this. I've actually put in a couple of more discovery sessions as well. I'll get to that probably tomorrow. But uh, it's nice, nice to have things to do. Nice to have high impact work in progress. And yeah, that's that's kind of the crux of it. So anyway, I think that'll do. Tomorrow should be a, tomorrow should be a nice day as I say. And for right now, I've just got a few things I need to get my head into. So that's a bumper edition whatever that means. That's two days in one. And yeah, bosses, it's a very separate note. Boss is my preferred, I didn't imagine I'd be saying this to be honest, boss is my preferred means of transport, at least between Dublin and Galway, uh, compared to train, it's just a bit easier for me. And also the, when the bus is nice and quiet, you've got plenty of space. So there's an insight to my life. Okay, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't know what time, could be morning, could be afternoon. It won't be at this time on Friday evening, that's for sure.